project probably started from about 10 years ago because uh, Crick was a growing village. The football club uh, was also a growing football club, but our existing facilities uh, restricted us in any further growth. Uh, the parish council, after conducting um, a survey within Crick, uh, managed to purchase uh, two fields uh, and then passed this over to the football club and to the Crick Sportsfield Association to try and started on this on the 24th of August. The main two grants that we achieved were from Sport England and the Football Foundation, but like all organisations, they want to see a lot of match funding, so hence Duntree District Council putting some money into it. The parish Council also have been very supportive, putting their money into it. And the club and, and, the club. and local fundraising. Local fundraising is really important because you don't get any money to draw your plans up or your planning permission or anything like that, so you need local fundraising. Crick is what I'd call a thriving village. Um, there's a significant amount of people in the village who want good things to happen for the village and are willing to put the time in to actually make it happen. And that's why all this that you see around you here has happened, because it's all about people who are just willing to put the time in. And I think it's excellent. For the club, it's, it's a great achievement because we're attracting more players, especially more junior players, We've now um, achieved community charter status uh, thanks to the work that Paul's done um, with the FA um, and one of the pre requisites of that is having a girls team and girls squads which we've now put in place. Um, in fact we've just um, entered the Northamptonshire League with the under 12 girls team. Um, so the, the club is growing from, from everywhere from walking football to the seniors are so progressing up the leagues and the ranks and we're also expanding the mini soccer and youth teams. Well, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Not only what's been achieved so far, what the future plans are. When you look at the future plans for the uh, new pavilion, new cricket pitches, um, just brilliant. Uh, they'll be able to, I think, um, really cater for several sports all in one area and that must be well to the benefit of the community. You know, sport's one of my passions, but uh, I think we've got to support this because I mentioned the word community, and you know, if you can get sport and young people interested and do something for the community, what I feel is grassroots level, and I, I think that's very, very important.